Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Kai Evangelista. And I'm Ryan Mejia. Today is Thursday, November 21st, and we're here with your morning announcements. The Medical Pathway is hosting their second mentor night of the year on December 4th. There will be presentations from nurses, EMTs, vets, and other healthcare professionals. The sign-up form is in the Medical Pathway Google Classroom, and it will close this Friday. Only Pathway students are available to attend the event, and attendees will get 1.5 CTE hours. It's that time. The specialized program list will be closing at the end of term two. If you will complete 40 plus VAPA credits by graduations, we want to honor and recognize you for your dedication to the arts. Seniors who have completed the requirements will be recognized and awarded the VAPA pin for graduation. Do you want to have a voice about activities at CO? Do you possess leadership skills, work well in the team, and want to be part of creating and executing the activities? If so, then leadership wants you for the 2025 to 2026 academic school year. Please view your Synergy email to apply. Now let's go straight into the news with Mara and Eli. Good morning, Wolfpack. My name is Mara Schrantz. And I'm Eli Fisher-Fernandez. We're here with your news update. President-elect Donald Trump has began nominations for his future cabinet. One of the most high profile has been Elon Musk, who will lead the newly created Department of Government Efficiency alongside Vivek Ramaswamy with a two-year mandate to cut bureaucracy and government spending. Tulsi Gabbard, a former, a former Democrat congresswoman from Hawaii, will serve as Director of National Intelligence. Marco Rubio and Elise Stefanik will lead the U.S. foreign policy team as Secretary of State and Ambassador to the United Nations. One of the most controversial picks has been Florida Congressman Matt Gates, who Trump has selected as his pick for Attorney General. Gates is currently under investigation for sexual misconduct, and some Senate Republicans had voiced doubts on his ability to be confirmed. In the last few minutes, Gates has announced that he is withdrawing as the nomination for Attorney General. House Republican Nancy Mace introduced a new bill on Tuesday, which would restrict individuals within Congress to using bathrooms that co correspond with their biological sex. It is speculated that the bill was proposed in order to block the U.S.'s first openly transgender member, Sarah McBride, from using the women's restroom. Mace posted on social media, calling her bill common sense and referring to transgender women as men in a miniskirt. McBride also shared her hopes that members of Congress can muster kindness towards people who have different walks of life. An estimated 42,000 people rallied in front of New Zealand's parliament in opposition to a bill that would alter relations with the country's indigenous minority. The Treaty of Waitangi was signed by the British Crown and Maori chiefs in 1840, establishing relations between the two and guaranteeing certain rights to Maori. Supporters of the bill say that it would universalize the rights of the treaty to all New Zealanders, while opponents say it would dilute the rights of Maori, who make up about 20% of New Zealand's population. The protesters arrived in the capital Wellington on Tuesday after a nine-day protest march from the north. In local news, over 200 workers at UC Davis Medical Center protested on Wednesday, demanding higher wages to cover rising expenses at home. Many workers described working multiple jobs in order to make ends meet and the union filed an unfair labor practice charge against the university for increasing health care costs outside of bargaining. The UC system said its current offer would raise the minimum wage to $25 an hour by July 1st. The strike continues today and is planned to end at midnight tonight. Thanks for tuning in, Wolfpack. I'm Eli Fisher-Fernandez. And I'm Mara Schrantz. Let's go back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. This week is Sick Heritage Week. Make sure to stop by the 6th Honor Ser Service Society table during both lunches and keep an eye out for posters with facts on them. Seniors, come form teams with your friends from CO and Franklin High and complete as many games in order to win Senior Olympics on December 6th. All participants are required to sign in and turn in a liability form. You are able to purchase tickets and forms in the student store for $5. Liability forms are due to your class advisor by December 4th. Turkey Bingo is tomorrow. All students and staff will receive a turkey bingo card during their first period class. And if you, are, if you are in PE or arrive late, drop by the leadership room for a card. During each period, Ms. Henderson will announce numbers, and at the end of the day, all turkey, bingo winners can, all turkey bingo winners can drop by the leadership room for the prize. President Permanente will be accepting applications for the KP Launch Program. It's a seven-week paid summer internship with a $23 per hour wage. You must be 16 to 19 years old and be available to work full-time during the summer. Well, that's all from us today, Wolfpack. I'm Kyle Evangelista. And I'm Ryan Mejia. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Gingerbread, Gingerbread Cookie, Cookie Day, Day Wolfpack. Wolfpack.